Hi there and welcome to the solar generation stats for February 2025. Uh, not much has been happening uh, this month as you'll see in the stats it's been quite a uh, pretty underwhelming month but let's get on with it. But before we get into the stats let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and 4 on the east and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt gen one give energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb and the Hypervolt EV charger. Right, so the month of February then, 239 kilowatt hours for the month. Uh, you can see the last day of Feb was really sunny and we're getting a lot of sun now uh, for the first week of March, which is brilliant. But otherwise in February, the month has been not amazing. That's what I'm going to say. Um, so what does it work out to average? Average is 8.5 kilowatt hours per day. Uh, with the lowest day, well, it looks a bit on the 10th, clearly, with half a kilowatt hour. Uh, and other days, you know, it started off quite reasonable, a few good days at the first week of March, and then it went sort of pretty bad, really, for the sort of second week. Third week got a lot better, and so did the fourth, really. So if we'd have had those other kind of high days at the beginning of the month, I think we'd have been all right. Um, but unfortunately, as you'll see in a second, um, it wasn't as good as previous years, which is a shame. Right, so here we are then, comparing uh, February with last year and the year before. So as I said, this year, 239, last year, 265. So a good few days for Feb, more really, um, but still surprised by how good 2023 was. 347 compared to, you know, 240 this year. So that's the massive amount, 100 kilowatt hours different between those two years. So again, February, not as good as, well, the worst year for me so far. And as I say, January was the worst year so far as well. Um, but I'm hoping March is gonna be better. Last year in March was the best year I'd ever had. And so far in March already, in just two days, we've done 54 kilowatt hours. So if that carries on, um, that will be amazing. But we'll have to see what happens um, after this first week in March, because we're getting really cold nights, but really sunny, brilliant days. Uh, and what I'm finding now is that we're sort of exporting, um, you know, a kilowatt hour in the kind of morning, you know, nine o'clock in the morning, we're exporting, which is fantastic. So this is the online uh, My Energy dashboard looking at how much we used or spent on the heating the hot water overnight so 149.9 kilowatt hours went in the eddy to heat the uh, tank in february most of those days um, was just overnight as you can see by the big wider spikes overnight very little bit very little uh, during the day and there was a tiny bit during the day, but I've programmed Home Assistant now, a uh, really good integration in Home Assistant to actually time and turn off uh, the eddy in the morning at about sort of eight, nine o'clock in the morning, and then turn it back on again uh, before I go to bed sort of 10 o'clock in the evening. So it's ready to uh, start heating up again at 11.30 p.m. when it's cheap rate on Octopus Intelligent at 7 p. So that's good. I don't have to think about it now and I don't have to turn it on and off, uh, which I sort of had to at the beginning of the month. And that's why you see these kind of peaks here during the uh, during the day, which has kind of disappeared more or less towards the end. I think I probably stopped it there, actually, on that day in the last week, once I'd figured it out how to do it as an automation in Home Assistant. Right. So let's have a look at the EVs then. So February, we used 573 kilowatt hours to put in the car from the Hypervolt EV charger, slightly up actually on uh, January when we used 505 in that month and 526 in December, so 573 in February. Obviously a few more trips in the car 
this month. So 573 kilowatt hours times by the octopus intelligent rate of 7p per kilowatt hour overnight equals 40 pounds and 11 pence uh, spent at home charging both the cars. So looking at the mileage, and the i3 did 1,245 miles in February, whereas my iX3 did 794. Gives us a total for both the cars of 2,039 miles for the month of Feb, uh, which works out to be on average 2p a mile. And the average miles per kilowatt hour wasn't too bad either, considering uh, it's really cold in some of those mornings, 3.56 uh, miles on average per kilowatt hour. Right, so into the Octopus Energy dashboard for the month. Uh, without showing the standing charge, uh, we spent £76.19 uh, on electricity from the grid. Uh, as you can see, this varied a little bit day by day, but I think it really had, the big difference was whether we charged uh, my car really um, in the evenings, as we usually charge the i3 every night, but I don't have to charge mine every day. Um, so that's why some of these are higher and lower. As you can see, most of it was done on the cheap rate in the green, um, whereas the pink rate is the more expensive kind of peak daytime rate, which I try not to use, but you always get a little bit of use, uh, whatever you do. So if we put the standing charge on 89.85, as you can see along the bottom there uh, in the pink line. So electricity exported, it was slightly better than last month, I must admit. Um, I think last month we did about 17 pounds. We did 22 pounds and 66 pence in Feb. Uh, yeah, a bit all over the place. It, it really does mirror, because I try and export as much as possible. It really does mirror what the Solar Edge brings in. So at the beginning of the month, it was there was a little bit there. And then say the second week, hardly anything was exported. And then it's been a lot better towards the end of the month or to export that day three pounds 47 so that was a really good day on the last day of feb so for the gas we used a little bit uh, less this month as well and i think you can see there from the graph i don't know what happened on the 21st there's a bit of a gap whether we didn't use any heating that day or what i don't know whether it just didn't get recorded i have no idea but as you can see up to sort of like the 19th um, we were kind of spending uh, you know, five pounds, whatever per day on average going across the most of the month. And then the kind of weather changed a little bit and it got a little bit warmer, didn't it? It got kind of, for us anyway, it got in East of England, it got sort of 10 degrees uh, for a few days and it got warmer. Um, and it seemed to be that the heating didn't need to come on as much in the house. So we were then sort of going from five pound a day plus mm. to around kind of three pounds a day. Although we must have had a cold snap that day, four pounds 80. Um, so yeah, so it got a bit cheaper towards the end of the month. So £129.12p, including the standing charge, £120.89 without the standing charge. Right, so let's do some overall numbers then. Grid import, 1,067 kilowatt hours at 7p on um, Octopus Intelligent, £74.73, pence, and then 5.4 kilowatt hours at 27 pence a kilowatt hour equals one pounds 46. So exporting 151 kilowatt hours at 15p is 22.66. And we did have a couple of saving sessions in February, although they are not paying what they used to. So the 18th and the 25th of Feb added up to an amazing 60 pence, obviously plus a bit of export, but I've included that figure in the main export already. Gas for the month, 1,931 kilowatt hours at 6.26 pence in the east of England, equaled 120 pounds and 89 pence. I did have a look at the Octopus gas tracker. That was for the average for the month, the gas tracker was slightly above um, the normal flexible rate. So 6.33 on the gas tracker, so slightly more. And standing charges in the east, we pay 29.38 pence a day on Octopus. That gives us eight pounds and 23 pence for the gas. And the electric is 48.79 pence a day times 28 days gives us 13 pounds and 66 pence. 
So overall, £120.89 for the gas and the standing charger 823 gives us £129.12 that I uh, spent or that we spent in the house for the month on heating it. That's just heating, not hot water. Although I did use a little bit probably of that for hot water, maybe once or twice um, when we needed to just give it a little bit of a boost in the evening. Um, the electric then imported £76.19 pence plus the 1366 standing charge, but then minus the 2266 export and then minus the 60 pence for the uh, saving sessions gives us 66 pounds and 59 pence for the electric for the month, which I think is pretty good when it includes the 13 pound standing charge. So if you took that off, you're looking at about 53. Um, and then we also obviously powered the cars for 2000 miles on that as well. So that is really good. So all in all then for the two, for the gas and the electric, 195 pounds for the month. Well, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below about your solar generation for February, as I'd like to know how you got on, whether it was your worst uh, February ever, like mine, or if it was a really good one. Uh, don't forget to like the video, of course, if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon.